Hello, 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 and good evening, everybody. Welcome to your English class tonight. How are you? How's it going, people? How's it going? How are you? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes or no? <laughs> you wouldn't say no, right? How are you? How are you? Welcome to class. Welcome to class. Are you ready? Or are you sleepy? Are you ready or are you sleepy? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? So far, so good, teacher. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and me? Thank you. Me? Thank you. And you? How I'm not, I'm not you? special or I am not important. Huh? Yes, <laughs> you are. Yes, teacher. Okay. You are important. Yes, you have to tell me and you. And you, what about you, right? What about you, teacher? <laughs> I'm very good, guys. I'm very happy to have you in my class tonight. Today we have a very um special day because we're going to see, we're going to continue seeing the present continuous. Yeah? And to be clear, to be clear, I want to know if you remember the formula. What is the formula for the present continuous? Hello? Object plus verb to be plus verb ing. I-N-G. I-N-G plus confidence. Wait, wait. Slow down, lady. Slow down, lady. One more time. One more time. I'm going to share my screen with you. Y lo marcamos ahí para que no quede, no queden ustedes así como que no se les dio esto, que el teacher no les dijo, o aquí me lavo yo las manos, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo dijo usted, Miss? Repeat the formula. Subject. Subject. Plus. Plus. Verb to be. Yes. Bear ENG. You mean ING? Plus complement. Is this correct? Yes. Yes. Y aquí tenemos los time markers. Podemos usar right now. Repeat right now. Right now. Right now. Now. Right now. 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 At this moment. At this time. At this moment. As we speak. As we speak. As we speak. Estos son los marcadores de tiempo que irían al final de la oración, right? En el present, continuous. Eh, affirmative, subject, verb to be, verb in ing. For example, I am teaching English to you right now. Again, I am teaching uh, I English am. to you right yes. now. And the negative is the same. Solo agregamos el negation word. A ver cómo se pronuncia el negation word. Not. Not. Ooh, ooh, music to my ears. Quien me diga not, penalty al final de la clase, ¿ok? <laughs> A veces nos dejamos guiar ahí por lo que vemos y queremos leerlo, pero hay que pronunciarlo, right? Y nativamente sería not. Not. A ver todos. I am not. You are not. not. I she am is not. not. She not. is not. Am. It is she not. Is not. It is we not. are not. We they are, are not. not. They are not. Bueno, entonces, de entrada, ¿qué les parece si practicamos afirmativo y um, negativo? Mientras va lista, usted me va a decir lo que usted está haciendo, what are you doing right now, and what aren't you doing right now. Do you understand? Yes. yes. For example, okay. me, I am teaching English right now. In class. But 
I am not eating pupusas at this no. time. Okay? So now it's your turn. You will say something affirmative and something negative as we speak. Let me go with Alcida Patricia Rivera Mejia. Are you there? Nope. Okay, let's go with Alison Michelle Guerrero Hernandez. Alison Stephanie Juarez Tovar. Present. Hi, Alison. How are you? Can I have your examples, please? I am not watching TV. That is correct. Uh huh. And what is an affirmative example? Hello. I am listening in into the class. Okay. I am listening to the class. Repeat. I am listening into the class. Mm -mm 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 -mm. To the class. To, to the, the class. class. I am. Class. <laughs> I am listening. I am listening. To the class. To the class. Ahora usted solita, vaya. I am listening to the class. Excelente. Thank you, Alison. Next, next, next is Ana Georgina Aguilar Flores. De Flores. Present. Mrs. Flores, you have your examples, please. Yes, I am not dancing right now. Yes, uh huh. I am a student in English. Oh, English? Miss, ¿cuál sería ahí el, el verbo estudiar? Porque student Study? es la persona. Studying. Studying. Correcto. Studying. Study. Studying. Con ING. Studying. Correct. Thank you. I am studying English with English Corporativo. Of course. Thank you. My pleasure. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Present teacher. Aha, uh -huh, Miss. I'm all ears. Go ahead. I'm not. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, I not study math right now. Vaya, study pero el verbo, English. vaya, pero el verbo estudiar se dice study. El verbo estudiar en, en tiempo presente simple sería study. A ver todos, study. 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 Okay. No, no lleva e al principio, no lleva e, solo es la s. Study. study. Ahora, cuando le ponemos study. ing la, el, el study al final, la I al final se hace más larguita por lo del ING. Entonces vamos a decir studying. 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 All right. Studying. Poco a poco vamos puliendo esa pronunciación, Miss Andrea. Brandon Scott Manzano Reyes. Missing in Action. Carlos David López Amaya. Present teacher. Hi, Carlos. You ready? Yes. Okay. Be my guest. Uh, I am. I am not eating right now, but I am uh, learning English with my classmates. Woo -hoo -hoo! You got it, sir. Applause is for you. Ahora. Solo quiero que corrijamos algo en la pronunciación. <clears throat> Veamos. I am... Oh, el verbo comer, eat. Eat. Con ING. Eating. 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 Claro, en Inglaterra lo puedes escuchar como eating. Como con la T, ¿verdad? Eating. Okay, sure. Más americano con la R eating. Good job, Carlos. Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla. Are you there? Carlos José Guerra Castro. César Augusto Pérez Guzmán. 
Cristian. César. Here I am, teacher. Sí. All right, César. How mm -hmm. are you? I'm currently typing on my laptop. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not watching TV. Fabulously, Caesar. Well done. Thank you, sir. Christian, Giovanni Peñate Campos. Tania Guadalupe Bolaños López. Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present. Hi, Diana. How are you? Are you ready? Yes. All right. Be my okay. guest. I am not cooking the dinner because at the moment I am studying English. Studying English. Fabulously, Miss. Congratulations. Good pronunciation. Thanks. Just one correction. Vaya, cuando digamos los tiempos de, de la comida, a ver, ¿cuáles son los tiempos de comida? ¿Desayuno, chicos? ¿Desayuno? Breakfast. breakfast. Se dice breakfast. breakfast. Vamos breakfast. a ponerlo acá en el chat. Breakfast. A ver, desayuno se dice breakfast. Almuerzo se dice lunch. Y cena se dice dinner. Refrigerio pueden decir snack. Ok. Ahora, no vamos a usar un artículo. El artículo de no va a ser necesario con estos tiempos de comida. En español nosotros decimos, um, yo voy a cocinar el almuerzo, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? El almuerzo, ese el o, o, o el la de la cena, voy a hacer la cena, ese el, ese la, es el artículo de en inglés. Pero en inglés no vamos a decir the dinner, the lunch. No, no, no. Solo decimos tal cual. Breakfast. Lunch, dinner. ¿Ok? So, si usted va a preparar el almuerzo, va a decir, uh, I prepare lunch. Tal cual. Yo tomo mi desayuno. I have breakfast. All right. Good job, good job, good job. Take notes, take notes. Diana, buen ejemplo, buen trabajo. Diego Alejandro Álvarez López. Edith Lorena Herrera Vázquez. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, how are you, Edith? Fine, teacher. Thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Are you ready to mm -hmm. say your examples? Uh, I am not sleeping now because I am learning English now. I am not sleeping now because I am learning no. English. I understand. English. I understand. Mm -hmm. I am learning English. I am not sleeping. Learning. I am not I am sleeping. Not sleep. Well done. Well done. Practice your pronunciation, Eddie. Let me go with Emily Yvette yes. Alejo Mendez. My pleasure. Present teacher. Hi, you're ready for your examples, Emily? Eh, sería, I am studying English. Is studying or studying? It's studying English. I am studying English. Yes. And the mm -hmm. negative? I am not eating. No. Eating. Eating. Es... Y ese verbo, el I favorito de la clase, eating. ¿verdad? El verbo comer. <ríe> eat, 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 yes. eating. <ríe> <ríe> eating. I am not eating. Good job, Emily. Good job. Check your corrections, pronunciation. That's it. Esmeralda, Abigail, Martínez, Martínez. Gloria Abigail Ramírez Alvarado. Hilary Raquel Mancilla Leiva. Present. Hilary, are you there? Oh, Present Gloria. Teacher. Gloria, can I have your examples first? Let's go with Glory. Are you ready? Yes. 
Go paper ahead. Yo, teacher? Please. My... Okay. Okay. My brother is sitting right now. He's not eating right now. Okay. In the <laughs> negative? He is not eating right now. He is not eating right now? He's not. He's not eating right now. Okay, okay. And what is the affirmative example, Gloria? Um, my brother is eating right now. ¿Cómo? Entonces no tiene, no tiene sentido porque me estás diciendo he's eating and he's not eating. Mm. Otra. Okay. I am learning English today. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the negative? Um, they are not learning. Ok, they are not learning, ok. Va, en el ejemplo de tu hermanito, me pudiste haber dicho, uh, por ejemplo, si él estaba comiendo, me ibas a decir, my brother is, afirmativo, ¿verdad? My brother is eating right now. Sí. Y la negativa sería, él, he, he is not studying English. Él no está estudiando. Because, you know, he is eating, ¿verdad? Para que tenga lógica. Right? Y muy bien, muy bien. Me demostras que estás dominando muy bien la conjugación del verbo to be. Eso sí. Muy buen trabajo, Gloria. Y ahora, Hillary, are you there? Present teacher. Ok, be my guest, Hillary. Ok, permítame. I am working a listening to Professor Caleb. And ok, class. thank you. So you're um, working and you're listening. Sí, las dos cosas al mismo tiempo tengo turno. All Eso right. no sé cómo se en español. Bueno, I, I'm y, working, yeah. y negativo, eh, digamos que he agregado continuo, ¿verdad? Ajá. I'm left in class and I am not having, I, I am not having pupusas for dinner. I am not having, I am having. not having pupusas for dinner. Ok. Great job, Miss. <laughs> Gracias. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Let me go with the next student. That's Hillary. That's good. Uh, Jacqueline Stephanie Garcia de Escobar. Presente teacher. Uh, I am studying English cor corporativo. Y en negativa sería I am not flying. Vaya, en la primera I am studying I am studying English English Vamos a usar con un lugar, con una empresa Les dije que con la hora se usaba la preposición at Con un lugar vamos a usar la preposición at también Okay, entonces vamos a decir, I am studying English at Inglés Corporativo. Y ahí lo vamos a poner así, tal cual, porque es un proper noun, ¿ok? Corporativo, correcto, así. ¿Y la negativa cuál sería, Miss? Este, I am not playing. Playing, ok, I am not playing, correcto. Usted no anda con juego, ¿verdad? Usted está estudiando ahorita, right? I like it, Miss Jacqueline. Good job. Jaime Antonio Martinez Chavez, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello, sir. Good evening. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Do you have your examples for us? Um... Uh... I uh, I studying listening to English class and I'm not listening to rock music. Entonces el verbo que usted quiere usar es el verbo listen con el listen. ing va a ser listening escuchando. Listening. I am listening to my class. I am listening I am, to my class. Studying listening to English class. I'm uh -huh. not listening 
to rock music. Correct. I am not listening to rock music. Se le entendí muy bien la negativa, all right? I, I am not, I am not, I am not listening to rock music. Good job, sir. Thank you. Jessica Cristina Garcia Castillo. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Here I am, teacher. Jocelyn, are you? Yes. How are you, Jos? Are you ready for your examples? Yes. Okay, be my guest. Um, I am not dancing because I am online English class. Ay, solo le faltó el ING en la última. Because I am having my having online class. All, my online class. Well done, Miss. Well done. Congratulations, Miss Tatiana. Thanks. And Josue Abel Luna Villalta, are you in the house? Uh, no. <gasps> You're driving? Yes. I, uh, I am driving my car <laughs> i am not uh, dancing oh my goodness i believe you i believe you <laughs> okay you're driving your car definitely i can see that i can see that you're driving your car you're not dancing you're not working thank you josue so much thank you Juana Margarita Sea Martinez. Bueno, y Juanita no está ahora entonces. Eso le iba a decir, teacher, que ¿Qué pasó? Juanita escribió ah, acaba de en decir el WhatsApp. en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ajá, que, que tiene, tiene dificultades pro... para conectarse. Ah, oh, my goodness. Ajá. Ok, thank Pero you guys. Que uh -huh. Gracias, muy amables, chicos. Gracias por decirme porque saben que no, no puedo ver todo en esta hora, ¿verdad? Así que muchas gracias. Vamos okay. a reportarle eso y vámonos entonces con <ríe> Julissa Margarita Contreras Alvarado. Here I am. Hi, Julissa. Are you ready for your examples? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the necessary example. You don't understand the examples? Vaya, no. estamos dando un affirmative example and a negative example of, of what are you doing right now? For example, ah, my, okay. my, my wife... Eh, podría, podría, podría... I'm sorry, ¿Sí? you're, you're breaking up. Se te está cortando, no te logro captar. Voy a apagar el Perdón, video. Perdón, es que estoy trabajando. Ah, ok. Ok, sí, quizás no puedo. Pero si me lo puedes mandar al chat, ¿can you chat it? ¿Lo puedes chatear? Eh, sí, si no, pues si me voy ahora, se lo puedo decir. Ok, ok. Sí hay ruido, pero podría, te alcanzo a escuchar. Vamos. Podría ser, I am bro, working a student. Mm, solo sería, I am working. Uh, I, am I am working. Work. Yo estoy trabajando. Y algo que no estás haciendo. Sería, um, I am not um, a class. <laughs> no, podría ser, sería? I am not, um, no, podría ser, I am playing. Ajá, I am not playing basketball, ¿verdad? No estás jugando. I am not playing volleyball. I am working. I am working, ¿ok? I am working. Recuerda usar tus marcadores de tiempo. En este caso, como estamos hablando del presente continuo, eh, Julissa necesita decir ahora o, o ahorita, como decimos en español, en este momento. En inglés sería right now, now, at this time. Practícame los marcadores de tiempo, ¿ok? Good. Already. Thank you so much, Lisa. Let's go with Carla Vanessa Bernal de Garcia. 
present. Hi, Carla. Are you ready? Um, I am studying. Vaya, el verbo class. estudiar, el verbo estudiar, study, normal, study, study, study y con ing, study, study, study. A ver, yo estoy estudiando, how do you say that? Yes. ¿Cómo se dice? Yo estoy estudiando. I am study. Studying. Studying. Yeah. Y ahora algo negative, something negative. Um, I am not working. Ok, me parece, me parece, Miss Carla, solo que necesito que pulamos la pronunciación de la palabra de negación. ¿Cuál sería la pronunciación? Not. I am not. not. I am not working. Practiquen okay. en su casa conjugándolo todos. I am not working. You are not working. He is not working. She is not working. It is not working. We are not working. They are not working. Okay, Miss Carla? Miguel Ángel okay. Meléndez Aquino. Last but not least, gentlemen, are you there? Yes, I am, coach. All um, right, what a pleasure. How are you tonight, sir? Uh, everything is fine, thank you. Uh, my example is uh, I'm not taking a shower because I'm taking my English class right now. Ooh, 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 sweet Jesus. That is absolutely perfect. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. Al final les digo cuál va a ser la tarea. Guys, gracias por su participación. Thank you so much. Me encanta eso de ustedes. You guys are very uh, upbeat. I love it. I love it. I simply love it. I'm going to share my screen right now so we can move on with the platform. Can you tell me if you can visualize my screen? Can you visualize my screen? Yes, yes. sir? Yes. 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 Great. Great. Let's move on. Let's watch this video out. If you have any question, write your question and let me know at the end. Here we go. In the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm... Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Los Angeles. Lima, Mexico. Montreal, Mexico. New York City, Montreal. San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Brasilia. London, Casablanca, Cape London. Town, Warsaw, Casablanca. Moscow, Riyadh, Russia. Seoul, Moscow. Bangkok, Riyadh, Tokyo, Seoul, Sydney. Now let's listen to Bangkok, a conversation which Tokyo, illustrates the importance Sydney. of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums by looking at the map. Okay, what we're doing right now Hello. is that we're practicing the conversation, guys. I'm going to interpret Debbie and you're going to interpret John. You ready? 
Ready? Ready. All right. Three, two, one. The phone rings. Hello. Hi, Debbie. I'm Debbie. It's John. I'm from Australia. Australia? Australia. I am Australia. Please remember. Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. <laughs> Se entendió la dinámica de la, de, la, de la conversation. ¿Qué pasó ahí? What happened? What was the problem? Las horas de diferencia. Y la yes, the time zone. <laughs> She was sleeping. Ella estaba durmiendo. 4 a.m. in the morning. That's crazy. Vaya, hagamos el switch. Ustedes inician. Ready? On three, two, one. Let's go. Hello. 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 Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. 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 I am at a conference in Sydney. Remember? Oh, oh right. Hi. 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 Is it there? Is it there? Yeah. It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's it. it. Hey, I'm I'm away. Away. Wow. No. no. Okay, just estoy despierto. Dice, I am awake. I am away. I am away. I am away. Okay, can you coach, identify? ¿Qué pasó? Perdón, coach. Aquí hay habilidades histriónicas también. ¿Por qué me dice? ¿Por qué lo dice? No, porque hay que darle la entonación. Es cierto, es cierto, hay que darle. La entonación hace que hace una gran diferencia, créanlo. Les quería preguntar si me ven ahí un present continuous example within the conversation. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Calling. I am calling. calling. I am calling from Australia. Eli, yo estoy llamando. It's uh -huh. happening right Desde now. Australia. Está pasando ahorita. Vámonos también a la hora. Let's check the time. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Oh, right. Like in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? It's 8 o'clock. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's 1 o'clock. It's 1.05. It's 5 after 1. It's, it's 1.15. 1 it's a quarter after 1. It's 1.30. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, 
it's 205. After that, it's 215. Then it's 230, or it's half past two. Next, it's 240, or it's 20 to 3. Our last example. It's a quarter to three, or it's 245. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the number, and you should write. Okay. The time. What time is it here? It's the first one. Three, it's three o'clock. Three o'clock. It's three o'clock. Three o'clock. Entonces, o'clock lo usamos cuando es la hora en punto. On point. A ver, acá, ¿cómo sería? What time is it? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. It's three. O five. Ese cero se va a decir O. Y del cero al nueve podemos usarlo así. O one, O two, O three, O four, O five, O six, O seven, O eight, O nine. Yeah? Okay. Continue. What time is it? It's three. It's three. Three. Va, primero demos la forma normal. Demos la forma normal primero. 3.15. Es 3.15. Es 3.15. Es 3.15. Correcto. Es 3.15. Y siempre vamos a decir it. Siempre vamos a decir it. Porque es como cuando decís en español son las. Entonces en inglés vamos a decir it's. It's 3.15. Okay. Ahora, 15 también podemos decir a quarter. A quarter. A quarter. Entonces yo puedo decir son las tres y un cuarto. ¿Cómo se diría? It's three. Pero, pero son las tres y un cuarto. It's a quarter past three. In a quarter. In a quarter. In a quarter. It's three and a quarter. Repeat it. Three and a quarter. It's three and a quarter. In a quarter. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Ahora, cuando los minutos, la hora ya se pasó, ¿verdad? Es, son 10, 15 minutos, 20 minutos pasada la hora. Podemos usar la palabra past o podemos usar la palabra after. Cualquiera de las dos. Past or after. Vas a decir, son 15 pasadas las 3. 